we're at the stage where we've just after creating our mock-up in Photoshop and we've sliced up our mock-up breaking it into different images and we've exported all of those images out into a folder ready for use. Now we're about to move into Dreamweaver and we want to recreate this website, uh, this mock-up that you see in Photoshop, we want to recreate it in Dreamweaver as an actual coded live website. So we need a bit of a plan into how we're going to tackle this. Um, so looking at this mock-up that I can see at the moment, I can see I've got a navigation bar at the top and then I have four unique content sections down below it. So I need to think about how I'm going to organize each one of those different content sections. Uh, to help me do this, I think I'm going to move over and create a diagram for this. So handling all of those different parts that I see in my mock-up, I'm going to need to create different div sections, different sections that will hold together the different parts of my website for me. First, I'm going to put in what we call a wrapper div. And this div section, we won't be able to see it, it will in effect be invisible, but it will be there holding my whole website together, the main parts of my website, so that I can kind of center it into the middle of the page and hold all the different constituent parts in a nice tidy way together. So that's the wrapper div. Uh, within that wrapper div, I'm also going to um, put in another div section that is going to handle my navigation bar. Now that navigation bar needs a label inside in Dreamweaver so that I'm able to attach particular cascading style sheet rules to it. And the label that I'm going to use for it is, I'm just going to make one up, it doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's relevant and I keep it consistent anytime I refer to it, I'm going to label it navbar. Notice that I've just capitalized the first letter of every subsequent word uh, just to make it very readable for me. So that section there is the navbar. Um, looking back at my mock-up in Photoshop again, uh, I just see my different content sections. So I've got one over here on the top left, I've got one on the uh, in the middle which is going to be a kind of a main content section, I've got one on the bottom left and then I've got another main content section on the bottom. So I flick back into my diagram and uh, I'll start laying out these in my diagram as well. So I'm just going to get a sh rectangle here. And this is going to be this top left section here. And again, just like my navigation bar up at the top, this also needs a label so that I can attach different CSS rules to it. So I am going to put the label of this. Let's call it top left uh, just beside that I'm going to put in the main section and I'm going to uh, edit the text there the label that I will eventually put on this is top main again I'm just choosing these different labels. Uh, these aren't standard names or anything, they're just specific to my website, but as long as I keep on using them in the same way across the, the whole website, that's what matters. Uh, I'll pick another square here. And you can probably guess what this one is going to be called. I'm going to call it uh, bottom left. and the last section. I'm going to call it bottom main. And remember, each one of those five different parts, your nav bar, your top left, your top main, your bottom left and your bottom main, they are all inside a section called a wrapper section. So I'm just going to label that as well. Now that layout that I'm just after doing there, it is specific for the design that I'm just looking at at the moment. This particular Christy Moore website with the layout at the moment, that is why I have laid it out 
the, in this way, where I've got a nav bar at the top, two different content sections on the next line, and then two more content sections down below it. But when we move on through the different tutorials, this is the layout that I'm going to use. So this is what I'm going for, and it's important to realize that. So let's move on and let's try and uh, put it into Dreamweaver and make it happen.